9.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.37 9.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.36 9.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.33 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.39 27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.27 9.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.25 9.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.24 9.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.18 9.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.17 9.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.14 9.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 21.07 Preamble Mike Heitner Incredibly, for two players who seem to have been on the scene forever, Bernard Tomic and Nick Kyrgios have never played a competitive match against each other. That deck will be broken today, in the refined surrounds of the Q Young Lawn Tennis Club, as preparations are fine-tuned ahead of next week's season opening major, the Australian Open. Inevitably, given their respective profiles, shared history and, um, interesting characters, there has been a degree of hype surrounding the build-up to this match. Tomic, intentionally or not, added some fuel to the fire, even though it may have been mere lighter fluid rather than a can of petrol, when saying yesterday that Kyrgios is mentally struggling at the moment. Yet both players have maintained their off-court clashes of the past, notably nearly three years ago when Tomic accused Kyrgios of faking an illness to get out of playing a this cup match are behind them, and considering the relaxed nature of this tournament, it's unlikely sparks will fly when the pair finally do face off across the net. What we might get is an indication of where each player is at just days out from the Open. At least that's the hope, Tomic also expressed of concern that Kyrgios might not take the match entirely seriously and as such his ability to complete his preparations for Melbourne Park will be affected. You could argue that's a bit rich coming from a player with Tomic's track record. Anyway, whatever happens over the next hour or two is sure to be of intrigue. Stick with me for the match, the players will be out soon, with Marin Cilic and Kevin Anderson's preceding match having just ended in the Croats' favor, 6-3, 4-6, 15-13, following a lengthy match tie break. Do get in touch if you feel you need to get something off your chest. Email is mike.heitner at theguardian.com or Twitter is at mike underscore heitner. Updated at 9.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.